X with a new Bleach Immortal Souls video and what a shocker I wasn't expecting to be able to get into Ikaku right away but right after I did that last video on our two new character releases coming look who dropped after reset yes it is it's Ikaku and he is part of the season pass we know that season passes for the most part those characters are usually always very good and if you don't spend the game or spend very little it's one of the few things i do recommend investing in but with that let's go ahead and take a look at him because i already got him set up and we're going to do some testing with him as you can see if you're not familiar with my videos all right he's at level 97 currently if you look at his um Upgrades, I have it at level 64 across the board. That's what I use for testing. Awaken stones, one across the board for testing. That's what I always do, as well as awaken. Each item is just awaken once, but all of them are, just so you're aware for purposes of testing. Um, I do have him all the way up to rainbow six, and uh, let's say he's a five star, which is what I generally do my testing at, but of course, that's all you get when you do the subscription um, let's take a look at his skill set really quickly all right and so we can see what the figures are really looking at right now first off we have his mastery skill javelin twirl deals damage to a single enemy and decreases the targets crit chance and block chance by 20 percent for two rounds increases akaku's max hp by four percent until the end of combat this effect can stack up to five times that's the part that makes it good. It can stack up to five times. That is cool. Skill damage at what I have for his current settings come in at 169.2 plus 970. Not bad actually for an SSR. His rage skill, Awakened Javelin Throw, deals damage to all enemies and reduces the attack, defense, damage rate, and damage reduction rate of all enemies. Yes, you, that's crazy, okay? By 8%, yeah, it's 8%. But who cares? It's still a reduction until the end of combat. This effect cannot be dispelled and can be stacked up to three times. Why? This is why when I was doing the other video, I like him better than the, than the next Zanpakuto manifestation coming out. This is just crazy cool. All right. Ikaku gains Javelin for two rounds. You ask yourself, what's Javelin? Javelin is damage reduction rate is increased by 10%. When attacked, deal damage equal to 5% of Akaku's max HP. Yes, that is cool too. Very cool. Skill damage on this one, similar to the other one. 169.2% plus 1358. All right, let's go ahead and look at his passive. This is where it just gets crazy cool. <clears throat> Akaku has increased damage reduction rate. While three or more skill characters are deployed, Akaku's rage recovery rate and mastery skill proc chance are increased by 20%. Every time Akaku attacks, allied skill characters recover 100 rage. His damage reduction rate at where I have him at currently is at 11.76. That is cool, very cool. You know, I'm already in the back of my mind when I first read him before I could even build him thinking the skill-based teams that this would work great with. All right. The rest of these things real quickly, trait skill passively increases the character's HP. It's a 16.6%. Um, let's take a look in the damage increase. Damage rate increases by 11.8%. No shockers there, quite honestly. War Souls. I currently have a War Soul of Courage on him, but quite honestly, you're probably going to want to put an HP-based one on, given that. But again, I'm going to test him with Courage. I want to make sure he's durable. He is a tank. I think frontlining him is going to be the way to go because you're going to want him to be able to rage more often and he should with getting hit plus his skill set, um, the, the two combined. But we'll see. I may revert back to HP for damage purposes, but who knows at this point. This is just a new character. We're testing him out. He's a black tortoise, War Soul, so I've got that up to five. Like I said, I have a War Soul of Courage on him. And his heroic War Soul increases the attack of all defense specialty characters by 3%. Standard stuff, no shocker there. Um, his talent in Extreme Challenge, the attack of all characters increases by 1.2%. Again, you know, it's an SSR. They like to do the Extreme Challenge stuff and some of this more passive side game type stuff with <clears throat> the talents. Okay, so now that we got him, now we need to go ahead and test him out and see how things hold up 
you know, my initial concern was going to be durability with him being an SSR and the tank. The funniest part of the whole thing is, as I talked about previously in the other match, is out of about 35 to 40 matches I've used him with, um, it is clear his biggest issue is being affected by your opponent's effects. He loves to get frozen, silenced, stunned. You name it, it happens to him. Um, so I'm going to have to go back to the drawing board and look at some more souls and see if I can offset that somehow. Um, because it is a bit of a liability, I'll quite say. Because, you know, you need him to rage. You want to take advantage of his kit with these skill-based characters. And it has been a problem so far. Oh, no. I lost Shinji. Well, that bums me out. Let's see if they can still pull it off. Shinji is a bit of a glass cannon without having any sort of extra healing on. See, there we go. Frozen. I'm telling you, it is going to be a problem with this character, which is sad because he has an amazing kit, but this is something I see consistently um, match after match. If I had taken video of all those matches and put a teaser reel together... You would not believe the amount of times. I mean, I'm, I'm talking it's upwards of over 50% at least. I mean, I just got lucky there. But he's probably going to die now from AY. AY does seem to be a problem for him, I have found. Um, he does not stop her. He doesn't zero out. Um, if he's not raging or not getting his kit going and stacking, he's not able to prevent death from her. So let's go ahead and stop this game and start another match. All right, let's see what happens this go around. Um, as we saw, you know, Kaku got killed by AY. As I'm trying to give you guys info on this character and what the issues are going to be, it's clearly the two major issues out of the gate are um, having problems not being affected by your opponent's effects. And he just does not live with AI. I've watched AY destroy him on so many matches on the front line. Um, you know, I've got a worse of courage on him. But unless his kit has stacked, it's going to be a problem if you, have, if you see an AY on your opposing team. I'm just telling you this so when you know if you need to deconstruct or move the character around. I mean, there's no doubt he's a solid character. And let's be honest, he, he's great bang for your buck, like any of these characters are um, <clears throat> with these season pass slash subscriptions. Um, there's no doubt about that. Oh, I'm sorry to see how I bell go. Um, so they really are worth it. You get a lot of stuff out of there besides the character too. It's one of the few things in this game where they're not completely ripping you off at times. But um, again, you need to know what's important with this character and what's not. And Yukaku, he's going to need some sort of push to his effect reduction, um, as well as um, watch out for AY. I mean, AY can do a number on a lot of characters, but if they've got shield or they have a chance of procting zero damage, um, it's great. But until he is... Um, Yukaku, at least. See, look at He's frozen right there. Boom. Telling you, man, it is just a given with him. It's a rarity that I don't see an effect trigger on him at least once per game. Which is really sad because he really needs to be effective. You want to get those stacks. And he's not going to get them because that's, that's the, probably the biggest issue there. But again, still keep working on them. Uh, hopefully, if I can find some answers, find some more effective formations for you, I will definitely do a follow-up video next week after Worlds is over with because I do want him to work. I want him not only to work, I want to build him around what you're seeing. I want, with that main triangle of Summertime Gein, um, Hollabelle, and uh, Ikaku, and of course, you know, most likely Shinji will be in there. Okay, let's go ahead and do one more battle. This one's got a Christmas order he made in there, so this one can definitely uh, 
um, be problematic too because I have no healers, but let's go ahead and see what happens. You know, again, we're wanting to push this team, especially a team that I'm not really all that comfortable with yet. You know, and uh, we don't have a Yuki, but we do have an AY, so this could be problematic. At least Ikaku has a shield on him, so that will help. You know, we just need him to go until it's round two. If you can get him to effectively rage on round two um, and round three, that's really the goal. Okay, that's a good sign. We have enough rage reduction to prevent their major hitters to get us. So let's see what we can do now in round two with this setup. Get ourselves more rage. See, we brought Summertime Keen back. That's a good thing. Nice javelin. Get that defense keep going down. Get a frontline Holly Bell hit. Oh, he's nice. Oh, I thought we had Summertime Keen rage. Hmm. Now let's see if we can survive. You know for a fact we're going to see an AY, and we're going to go ahead and see Vasta Lorde, so... Hopefully Vasta will hit anybody but Ikaku. Oh good, he did not. But of course we get AY against Ikaku. He does have the shield, let's see if he can make it. He was able to rage last turn. Yep, yeah, he lived. See, there you go. That's really going to be the key with him. To get that initial stack going, and then he should be durable enough to live. All right, we can get another Akaku here. So we'll get another stack, which is exactly what we want to see. There goes the Javelin. Attack and defense down. Get a Summertime Gein to lower that back line. Gotta love that always. And then we got Shinji with his full-on rage reduction hit. That's looking good to me. All right. Oh, and a Holly Bell on that front line. Can we get that Christmas Orihime out of here? Not so sure we're going to be able to, but at least... Oh, we got a stun on Aizen. That's always good. This one's looking pretty good so far. Got to be happy with the way this one played out. Once this is finished... Whoops, I keep doing that. My apologies today. I don't know why it's coming on so quickly. It's supposed to be turned off. <sighs> it says turned off. But it's not, clearly. Thank you, Samsung. Um, final thoughts. Let's just say it. Akako has a phenomenal kit. He's good value for your money. But his major issues are, and concerns, are effects being activated against him seems to happen a lot more often than most characters. AY is very problematic against him on the front line. Um, in particular, if he has not stacked at all. Are there answers to that? Definitely. You know, War Souls definitely will assist that and hopefully will help. Questions are at this point which ones will work the best with him um, and make him the most effective he can be. Team suggestions? Well, you know, it's a no-brainer. You're going to have to work with um, a mainly skill-based team, which is not a big issue. There's lots of very good skill-based characters. So team builds, he's going to work with, with a fair amount of characters out there, so that won't be an issue. Bottom line, um, I, he's good value for the money, honestly. I like him better than what I've seen out of the newest UR banner that's coming down the pike. Again, I haven't been able to test that character, so I could be completely wrong. But if you normally do the season passes, um, you know from experience they generally play out very well and are very effective, and you can use them. I know I use a lot of them. So I would definitely recommend get, getting him, and you're just going to have to play around with him. Um, if you generally don't like to use skill-based teams and characters, then I don't know if I'd bother, honestly. Save your money. But if you do, like most people do, because of your Nels, because of your Starks, etc., um, 
he's definitely worth getting. All right, everybody, have a great rest of the day. If I can come up with a tight team that I'm seeing incredibly effective as well as the build on him, I will definitely do a follow-up video on him. Have a great weekend, everybody, and have fun for the, for the remaining few days of Worlds.